So I'm Luther Dickinson. I've been uh, producing Samantha Fish's new record, and uh, it's been a blast. Uh, I first heard I first heard Samantha on the Blues Cruise two years back when she first caught my ear, and I was like, "Wow, that girl's really talented. And a great singer, great guitar player, and great tunes." Especially with this record, the songs really stand out more than anything else. It's like the songs, the, the hooks are so strong. And we've tried to bring them out, you know, with the vocals and the guitar too. I, lo I love making blues guitar hooky. You know, if you can make a hook out of a blues guitar, like that's my favorite thing to do as a guitar player and a r producer and a songwriter. And she's got that natural thing. Her songs are so fresh um, and the melodies are so strong. And then working with her on her lead guitar, uh, trying to bring out those hooks has really been fun, you know, like... It comes time to do the solo, you know, sing the verse, sing the chorus, you know, play. That's the blues. You play the, the vocals, you know, and uh, she's really risen to the occasion. Don't worry about the things they stole. Wrap those secrets around the telephone pole. Go home. Go home. Go home. Maybe in a moment of clarity. Me finding out Luther was going to be the producer of my record kind of started with a conversation I had with my manager, Ruben Williams, and we were sort of, it was early in the spring, you know, springtime or summertime, we were going over, you know, what I wanted to do, and, and you know, we kind of ran through the gamut of, of producers and everything, and I just, I had loved what he did with his last record with the North Mississippi All-Stars, and I knew that he and his brother had produced it themselves, and I loved the sounds and kind of the creative place that they came from, so... You know, and I'd always been fans of theirs, so I thought maybe give it a shot. And I love that kind of music, so I mean, I, j I just sort of threw it out there. And he's, you know, we didn't talk about it for like a month, and then a month later, Ruben called me. He's like, okay, so uh, I called, you know, Luther's manager, and we're gonna we're gonna try and make it work. And I, I just was really excited. I mean, I, it was an idea we we'd thrown out, and, and I'm really glad that it worked out because I think it's really cool. Cool. So could, um, just off the top of my head, so could, like. You know, when you hear the North Mississippi All Stars, and you can kind of hear that that uh, North Mississippi mojo happening, yeah. dude, because you really feel that energy. Oh yeah, I mean, I could I could definitely feel that. It that's my favorite kind of blues music. That is the kind of blues that got me into this whole genre of music. I mean, I I, I love other types, but when I first heard that really heavy kind of guitar driven, uh, you know, grooving music, I mean, it's danceable. It's there's so much to it, um, I, I, I fell in love with it. And so for me, it, it's just exciting that I get the opportunity to go and work with guys who this is, this is, this is what they do and they, they know it best. They, you know, they, they live in the area, they've been playing it their whole lives. It's, it's really just an honor for me to get to try and soak some of that in, you know. Settles, I ain't coming back.